KX News is your local election headquarters, and we are just four days away from the election. Tonight, we take a closer look at the candidates running for two House seats in District 32, which covers much of Bismarck. Reporter Amanda Beer Temple has more from the candidates. Republican incumbents Lisa Meyer and Pat Heiner are running against Democratic NPL candidates Chrisanna Holkup-Peterson and Carl Young. I just really want to make continue to make a positive difference in the people's lives that I represent. I think I'm the most qualified candidate that's running. I'm just a regular person wanting to make a difference in our state. I like to help other people. Lisa Meyer has represented the district for 20 years and currently works in furniture sales. She says her experience serving on several different committees have allowed her to build relationships needed to accomplish her goals, including education funding and helping troubled youth. I think that experience will really be helpful in this next four years, I think given the situation that we're in currently. Her running mate Pat Heiner was elected in 2016 and has 39 years experience in law enforcement. Heiner says he supports policies that help the energy industry. And after serving on the education committee, he says he's passionate about ensuring schools have 100% on-time funding. That's important to school districts, especially growing school districts like Bismarck is, um, because it gives them the money that they're supposed to have up front. Challenger Chrisanna Holcutt-Peterson is a paraprofessional for special needs students. She says advocacy for children with special needs is a priority, and she also wants to see the legacy fund used. The legacy fund, I think, can help us, and I'm willing to look at that and work with that and try to find ways that we can use that money towards the people because they say it's a rainy day fund, and here's a rainy day. Her running mate Carl Young says he's been a mental health advocate for 12 years. He says behavioral health will be a priority if elected. He says he's spoken at the legislature for the past five sessions but decided to run when he didn't think they were accomplishing much. Young also says he'd be able to voice the concerns of those not always well represented. My wife and I live in a double-eyed mobile home and there are literally uh, thousands of people living in mobile homes right now in South Bismarck. Um, and I think a lot of them, from my conversations with over the last eight months, feel like they're not being heard, and I want to change that. Two of the four candidates will win seats come Election Day. Reporting in Bismarck for KX News, Maddie Beer Temple. There are 94 representatives in the North Dakota House with 16 open spots this election. Thanks.